like I said, bottle collected. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Sly Cooper. Today, I mean, you'd think we're gonna start the episode off by doing a mission after we get the bottle, but when I got up here, we, we found a piece of wood that's apparently a treasure, so we're gonna take this back instead. <laughs> Looks like this might be the fastest way. Running is much faster than paragliding though, so let's do it right. Not sure how much time I lost, but I'm pretty sure I've got enough time to get there. Yes, sir, I do. Just a street sign. <laughs> An expensive street sign, because that makes all the sense, doesn't it? Okay, well... Keeping an eye out for more bottles as I go. Although, the places that I'm looking are where the bottles will not appear on screen, as they tend to do. I'm pretty sure I saw the mission up on top, so... Right, right next to the safe? Okay, sure. Not sure how he made that jump, but okay. Mustache looks bigger. What have you been feeding it? Pay attention, Sly. <laughs> you need to enter through that window and make your way to the ventilation system. Meanwhile, I'll have the goons inside so sugared up they'll be seeing double until they crash hard. Once you lock the RC car in the vents, I'll take control and guide it to Toothpick's office. You're not going to start wearing that mustache all the time, are you? Jealousy is such an ugly emotion, Sly. <laughs> that was really good. Okay, so, hmm. Like, they want me to come over here, and I can come over here. But there's like two bottles right in this area that I'm kind of prioritizing at the moment. So, wow, Sly. Um. I'm not taking the blame for that one. That was all you. Now, it should be... Yeah. Not a problem. Alright, they want me over there, but... Why? Just to start a cutscene. They had me move a few feet away from one cutscene to get to another cutscene. This place looks pretty rough. Will do. See you inside. Greetings. I've been informed this establishment is in dire need of an expert tap jockey. Well, and only Sasparilla. Let's see. I can move left and right simply by using the left stick. When a patron steps up to the bar, I can slide him a drink by pressing the X button. These guys don't look like patient types, so I'd better make it fast. I'd better keep an eye on the Sasparilla gauge. It's going to take my whole supply to quiet this bunch. The meter should indicate how much Sasparilla I have left. Something tells me it's gonna take every drop. So we're playing Beer Tapper. Let's hope the supply outlasts the demand. There's gonna be someone over here. I knew it. Look like they're gonna need more than one drink. These guys are soaking up like sponges. My arms are 
Wait, what? I think I need to serve some of them more than once. Now I see it. Oh, there goes another one I lost. <laughs> At least now I understand what I was doing wrong the first time. It's however many mugs they have over their head, that's how many I'm supposed to serve them. You just started, you whiner. Oh, I got it. Whew. After you understand what you're doing, it's really fun. At least we got some of them. Maybe instead of sarsaparilla, you should have served them creme de la agar. Okay. <laughs> Shouldn't have hit the circle button that time. Well, where do I go from here, though? It, it feels like I'm supposed to get in here. In fact... The... That's kind of what I was trying to do. There's a big casino. Or a saloon. Looks like it's the same thing, actually. What kind of ridiculousness is this? Okay, um... Is that... Okay, it's part of the cobweb. I thought something was on my screen. So I guess I'm going down, then? I can probably sneak behind this guy. Kind of pushing my luck here. Oop. Really pushing my luck here. There are some times when enemies will just know you're there for no reason and turn around and see you. Hmm. Now, how to with this guy? Probably the same as all the others. If you had your back to the wall, this might be a little bit more difficult. And also less tempting. Come on, I know I can get up there. All right, he just doesn't want to grab onto it, is all. So... How to be doing? Also, this is absolutely ridiculous. Why would you build this? Okay, I should stop being greedy in a casino. That's just a recipe for disaster. Are we talking about this one? I thought that was what the spotlight was connected to. Please don't look at me. And please stop looking where I'm trying to work. I have stage fright. Okay, so that moved over. Camera, please, you're not confined by the limits of the characters. I'm trying to look around, and that spotlight is too much in the way. Oh, wait a second. Is that sometimes supposed to climb? Yes. Yes, it is. All right. Okay, I missed that detail. That's on me. I was like, why do we need to move it over there? And it looked like it was connected to the tube. And I'm like, oh, okay. So you just need to connect it to this thing. And then some liquid is going to pour out of somewhere. 
But no. You are tediously slow. Although I guess it needs to be for those ones who are too drunk to stand. Just a little further to that vent. You can only land on one of these, apparently. Alright, that was not my best performance. Not a problem, not a problem. Uh, they really wanted me to shoot that bottle. You're an RC car, you're made of metal. I think you'll be fine. Oh no, spiders, the RC car is in danger. I guess it was just an alternate path. Must shoot this bottle. Thank you. Here we go. Trump card's going to crush Cooper and the rest of his clean jumping gang. We's a going to learn a new dog yank a rattlesnake's tail, lest you're looking to me. Get bit! <laughs> then, we are going to finish loading up the train and haul our sweet little kisters out of this one-horse town. Once we get that loot back into present day, I, Toothpick! going to be worth millions! Uh, oopsie. Dang it, boss! Would you watch where you're pointing that thing? Uh, are you talking to me? Oh, boss, whoa! Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean nothing! Okay, so we found out nothing. Except that he can apparently grow to be a giant, I guess. We're going to plant a bug to find out about Toothpick's plan. Oh. You don't say. I don't like them skulking around my town or my mind. I better not hear about nothing going wrong with the plan. Better not. Oh. Like we knew he had a plan. That's why we planted the bug in the first place. But then we get in there and he's like, "All right, guys, we have a plan. I'm not going to talk about it, but we have a plan." And suddenly the mission's over. Now I know I could just run along the Grand and probably get there, but you know what? This way is much more fun. Oh wait, no, I probably can't run along the Grand to get there. I was paying attention, really. All right, what are we doing? Huh, that's not good. Oh. Looks like Toothpick rustled himself a pretty lady. Sweet jumping jackrabbit! That's no lady. That's Carmelita. What is she doing here? You know her? I'm afraid so. Something is very wrong here, Tennessee. But all quantum physics aside, we have to rescue her. Nobody could get there faster than you. I'll grab Sly and Murray, and we'll meet you in the van. Just get going. Okay. Huh. I wonder who Bentley's lady friend is. Can I... Okay, I can shoot it, but I'm not going to be able to do anything about it. And yes, I'm going to completely deviate from the mission to try to collect this thing. Would you shut up? You're not even saying anything interesting at this point. Yeah, that'll probably do it. Or maybe... Maybe I need Sly to be able to get that one? Because he's the one with the parasol? Okay, I'll leave that one for Sly, I suppose. 
Oh yeah, I remember that uh, every Cooper member has a different takedown. That was a terrible angle. We might have to try another one later on. I think the only thing different in particular is that he shoots them. I'm sure it is. Too happy to get rid of this one. Her tongue sharp enough to cut leather. <laughs> Stinking cowards! Afraid to untie me and fight like men? I swear when I get out of this. No sense fretting about that little lady. Mm, cry cry, little dear. Yes. Just enjoy the ride. <laughs> All right. Just gonna be moving on. I'm just not sure what I'm supposed to be shooting to let me progress. Okay, <laughs> apparently I was doing the right thing. Admit, this is requiring a surprising amount of focus more than I had expected. Really? One and I'm done? Okay, what am I clearing out? What am I clearing out? Everything? I'm fine with clearing out everything. Uh, I can see some rabbits. Now I can probably lock onto them just fine. Really? You're... you're hey, fine. I think there's another one up there somewhere. Nope, there he is. Hit the brakes already! It doesn't matter how long I do the focus shot. He's still going to drain his entire uh, gauge whenever I barely activate it. Like, you can just tap it and suddenly everything's gone. Come on now. Come on, I need to shoot the last guy. Or we won't. Fine. We're good. We're good. And then these just suddenly open up to justify our being here. Oh, hold on. Come on now, shoot it, shoot it. Not really, considering you damaged the stagecoach when you did that. <laughs> Terrible drivers. Can't you stop this thing? Don't worry, your 
pretty head, Miss Carmelita. Everything's under control. They were never in control, were they? Who are you? Pleased to meet you, ma'am. Why, I'm Tennessee Kid Coop. Don't tell me. You're a Cooper, right? I knew it. Yes, ma'am. Bentley told me you... Stop calling me ma'am. The name's Inspector Fox. Wait, Bentley's here? Well, looks like they're right behind us. Carvelita, I'm glad you're okay. Oh, this is awkward. Conniving little... Much obliged for helping hand, Inspector Fox. Let me run these banditos over to prison. And I'll be back for you, all in lickety split. Of course, you feeling neighborly? You could just turn yourselves in. <laughs> as much as I like the idea of Sly in a cell, nobody kidnaps Inspector Carmelita Fox and gets away with it. I reckon that also includes tying her to a runaway stage. Watch it. I'm in no mood for smart remarks. Now, are you ready for another mission, Tennessee? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I mean, I surely am, Inspector Fox. All right, so that was an unexpected turn. And now, now we have the inspector on our side. Now, oh, boys, I know I've heard out of my lungs that you all about this already. But some of you ain't uh, heard it rightly, because your lingo is uh, still stale as month old cornbread. Shoot, the way you talks now, it worth a blood nickel. Ah, it's stick. At least uh, Toothpick doesn't have to get him a new jail outfit, but, uh... Oops, I <laughs> guess we have to do another jailbreak. Uh, another jailbreak in the same time era. Huh. All right, well, normally we do a heist to get what we're looking for, but uh, doing a heist to get Sly out of jail? That's different. I ain't gonna complain about it, though. I'm interested. I'm gonna save it for another time, though. Thanks, everyone, for joining me today. Next time, uh, another jailbreak, I guess. That's so weird. Am I gonna be doing, like, a jailbreak every session I record? That's... Odd, but okay, sure, whatever. Uh, see you guys then for whoop. Thank you. See you guys then for another episode of Sly Cooper when hopefully I can control Tennessee Kid a whole lot better than I just did. Although I did just see that there was down here not just jailbreak stuff, but there was a treasure. Is that an insta kill? It is an insta kill. All right, fine. We'll take this back. And then we'll end it. I'm sure we can get back there in within the full minute. Not a massive problem. Just a straight run there. And hopefully none of these guys turn around. That's also a deciding factor, I think. I think this goes up fairly smooth. Yeah, oh wow, yeah, we had way more than enough time, and I'm not complaining about that. It, this is... <laughs> that was a ridiculous amount of free time. Okay, cool. Brandy, oh jeez. Uh, hmm. I assume that's a torture weapon in this universe. See you guys next time for another episode when... Jailbreak. See you then and take care.